picking up on those Google assistants. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. They are making that virtual assistant that is AI-based sound human and have human flaws like, for example, my my constant M's and R's and you knows and likes and the list goes on and on. They are on purpose incorporating that into their virtual assistant. Is they're misleading the caller into thinking that it's a human that is responding to the caller. So I think those, in some situations, this um, this sort of algorithm can cause real problems. For example, if this is a a matter that you need a human to resolve, for example, something connected to the context of the situation or maybe some emergency of some kind, I think leading a human to believe that they're talking to another human, but then on the other side there is in fact an AI, I think that can cause one, friction between the company and the consumer, and B, it's just dangerous in some settings because I think as humans we expect a different, well, a higher standard of care from other humans connected to when we speak to chatbots. So I think in terms of chatbots and virtual assistants and call centers and stuff like that, I think companies need to think about making sure that they communicate or make it uh, you know, understandable that you're actually communicated to a machine and you should treat the encounter accordingly. That's just my two cents on this.